today we're going to be talking about how to sell a product on Amazon.com, sis. Oh yes, oh yes. My name is Steph Rodgers. I'm the founder and CEO of Godwood Girl and creator of the Godwood Girl School of Business. And my purpose in life is to help you achieve yours and to help you do that. For those of you girls who are purpose to be entrepreneurs, I said doing something called the Purposepreneur Show where I'm going to come on and share with you a tip where you can launch or grow your purpose-driven business online. Hey, Private 35. So today we're going to be talking about how to start selling a product on Amazon. So step number one is to really identify what niche God called you to be in. Hey, Love Quiche. Really identify what niche God called you to be in. Hey, Labu. So Romans 8.28 says that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him. Thank you so much for those hearts who have been called according to his purpose. All things includes those things that you are passionate about, okay? Now, there are a lot of different ways to start a business online but in today's market because of technology, because of social media. So it's possible for you to create a business that you're going to hate, sis. And the only reason why I know this is because I've done it. Um, so I used to have a social media marketing agency, because social media marketing is something I'm very passionate about. Praise God, I'm pretty good at doing it. Hey, Donna Michelle. And so a lot of people were asking me, hey, Tall Beauty, hey, T-Shells. A lot of people were asking me to help them with their social media marketing. Hey, Tiff. So I thought it would be a great business idea for me, right? Hey, it wasn't a good business idea for me. Hey, Coach Keisha Dylan, welcome, welcome, welcome. It was not a good business idea for me. I did not enjoy it. I really didn't. I enjoyed it at first, but then it just started kind of taking the energy out of me because um, it's just not what I'm equipped to do. Hey, rest done. Uh, so had I known that, hey, animal lover, had I known that, I wouldn't have gone into that industry. So step number one, when you are starting to sell a product on Amazon, is to really understand what niche God wants you to be in. What industry? What is it that you actually do? Do you help women with self-development? Do you help women find their confidence? Do you help women learn how to sew? Do you help women play football better? Do you help people get into shape? Thank you so much for those hearts. Are you in the fitness industry, the self-development industry? Are you in the confidence? What, like, what is it that you do? Mindful Me said you are on it. So inspiring. Thank you so much, sis. Tiffany, you are such a blessing, girl. I love you so much. Thank you. Uh, so what is it that God has actually called you to do? You want to get very clear on that first. Hear me on this. You want to get clear on that first. Coach Keisha said, I love your hair. Thank you so much, sis. This is actually day one of a braid out. So you know day one, it's not as stretched as normal. So I'm used to my hair being like a little bit bigger. So this morning I was like, oh, okay, praise God. <laughs> Thank you so much for those hearts. So number one, sis, when you are wanting to start selling products on Amazon, make sure you are very clear about what you are passionate about doing. I'm telling you, do not start a business that you literally hate don't do it. Find out what you're passionate about doing first. And if you need help finding your passion, make sure you grab my free Find Your Purpose Toolkit that will help you find your passion by going to PurposeGift.com. Hey, Brittany. Marlena, thank you so much. She said, hey, sis, your hair looks great. Thank you so much. Hey, Diana, my sister. What time is it for you, girly? Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining. Hey, Britt, thank you so much for joining. So we're talking about how to start selling a product on Amazon. Hey, Diana. So number one is to find out what you are passionate, right? What's your niche? What is God calling you to do? Once you understand what that is, step number two is to find the product that you're going to sell. Find the product that you're going to sell on Amazon. And you don't have to create your own products. I always say now is the best time to be an entrepreneur because there's a little something called affiliate links, sis. An affiliate link means that you, it's a product that you love, that you're passionate about. And when you sell it, you get a commission. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The School of Business members know what I'm talking about it. Um, Diana said it's after midnight. Oh my goodness. Hey, Ola Coleman. So the School of Business members, um, I have something called the Gotta Go School of Business where I teach you how to launch a purpose-driven business online. And my students just received their own affiliate links. So they're in the School of Business. They were already recommending it to their friends. Now they get paid a 50% commission for everybody that they recommend into the School of Business. So if you can find affiliate links for a product that you love, this is a great item to list on Amazon. The reason why I say product that you love is because we are faith-based businesses. We are purpose-driven businesses, which means that we operate in integrity and we operate with ethics. So we would never sell a product that is doo-doo, okay? <laughs> As faith-based business owners, and I challenge you on this because there are gonna be some people in these streets who tell you, I'll just sell whatever makes money, don't worry about this and that. I don't believe in that. 
No, I don't believe in that. And how am I going to genuinely sell you something that I've never tried in the first place? How is that ethical? How is that ethical? The product could be doo-doo. And then I'm putting my name on it. And you know that I'm a Christian. So how are you looking at God now? Since I sold that to you. So I really 100% believe if you're going to affiliate for a product, you have to believe in it. That's why when you purchase something from me, I don't give you affiliate links to things you have not used. I have affiliate links for School of Purpose. I have affiliate links for my workshops. I have affiliate links for my master classes. But I only give to people affiliate links what they have purchased from me. Because I know you have tried it and you have tested it and you can stand behind it. I'm not going to ask you to sell something that you've never tried because I wouldn't do that myself. So we have to operate at that higher standard. Hey, Mrs. Nixon, Brittany said this is good. Oh, my girl, Shar's on. Shar's a school of business. Tiffany, mindful of me, is also a school of business. Hey, Reese, Reese said amen. Sassy, thank you so much for joining, Shar. Dana, welcome. His lady, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am the chosen. I love, love, love your handle. Coach Keisha said speak on it, sis. You speak in facts. <laughs> Great teaching. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. Diana said, Stephanie, are you leaving this for replay? Yes. Always going to leave it for replay, and then um, if you follow me on YouTube, I upload these onto my YouTube channel as well, under the live stream playlist channel. Uh, so yeah, make sure when you're finding a product to sell, it's something that you believe in. Hey, Kedji Motivate, thank you so much for joining me. Kedji was on with me this morning as we read the Bible. Um, so you can do affiliate links. You can also do AliExpress or Alibaba. So if you were with me, um, if you were with me last week when I was talking about actually being able to do drop shipping, that was one of the faith-based business ideas that I was telling you about. You can do the same thing on Amazon. If you find products that you really, really love um, and that you order them, test them out, make sure that they work the way that they should, <laughs> you can list those as products on Amazon. Again, I just really, really highly encourage you to make sure it's something that you're passionate about. I knew a young man who I didn't know him personally. He was in this mentorship group that I was part of and he had, he had earned his first million dollars selling sewing kits and he hated it. He hated sewing kids. He did not like to sew. He hated the target demographic he was serving, and he couldn't get out of it because if he stopped selling, if he stopped selling sewing kits, then he stopped making money. And I felt so bad for him. I'm like, man, you have to get up every day and work in a business that you don't like. Like that just sounds horrible to me. So make sure you. It's a niche that you really, really like. Thank you so much for those for those hearts. Hey, hello, hello, ladies, alibis, alibis. <laughs> hey Diana, she said, okay, great, good night, good night, my darling. Miss Mississippi, thank you so much for joining. T Shield says the school is required. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sister of Christ. I really appreciate it. Hey lady, welcome, welcome, welcome. So once you and we're talking about how to start selling a product on Amazon. So once you know what niche God is calling you into, once you find your product to sell, and again, you can look at affiliate links, you can sell your own products, you can find a drop shipping product on AliExpress or Alibaba. Number three. And this one's a little bit more technical, but it's super easy. You're going to set up your Amazon seller's account, and you're going to do that by going to sellercentral.amazon.com. That's sellercentral.amazon.com. This is how people list their products for sale on Amazon. This is Amazon's website, sellercentral.amazon.com. And when you go to this to sign up, you have a couple of options. The first option is that you don't pay anything up front and you give Amazon 99 cents for every product that you sell, right? The second option is that you pay the monthly subscription, which is what I used to do. So you pay Amazon $39.99 a month, so $39.99 per month, and then you keep whatever you sell. So if you are selling more than 40 products a month, then it's more beneficial for you to get the monthly subscription because obviously uh, 40 times 99 cents, you're going to make your money back. <laughs> hey, Maisha. Um, so you want to make sure that you kind of know what your demand is going to be. You can switch plans at any time from my understanding. Um, if you do the monthly subscription, you figure out you're only selling 20 products a month, then it's better just to do the 99 cents because then you're just spending $20 a month in fees. Um, so it's going to depend on what your demand is. But to set up your account, you go to sellercentral.amazon.com. And what you're going to do is just follow the instructions. It's actually very, very simple. You're going to list your product. 
put a really nice product image. If you're using an affiliate link, usually your affiliate, the person who created the product, will provide you images. If you're using a drop shipping product from Alibaba or AliExpress, you can take the images from their website, or even better, which is what I used to do, you order the product and then you take your own photos and you upload those, and that way you know they're really nice, beautiful photos. Um, in addition, if you have your own products, then you go ahead and be able to create your own products uh, or create your own images as they're working. Restored Broken, hello my darling, my my Sham Sham Jackson, hi sweetheart, thank you so much for joining. Reese Dunn said, God is speaking to me through you. My husband just told me about selling on Amazon. Woo, look at that. <laughs> look at God, praise God. That's really cool, Reese. Uh, let me know what, what, what kind of area, what industry are you looking to be in on Amazon? Hey Roxy, thank you so much for joining. Hey almighty Kiwi, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're talking about how to start selling a product on Amazon.com. So once you set up your Amazon seller, seller account, now here's the part. This is the part that most people miss. This is the part that most people miss. Okay, you're going to want to create a sales funnel that leads to your Amazon listing. You're going to want to create a sales funnel that leads to your Amazon listing. What is a sales funnel? So we're going to take this three steps, right? So number one, a sales funnel is an automated process that converts a lead, somebody interested in your business, into a buyer, somebody who has purchased from your business. So for example, if I am selling sewing kits on Amazon.com, then I know my customer is somebody interested in learning how to sew, right? So that person interested in how to sew is a lead. They have not purchased from it yet. But once they purchase my sewing kit from Amazon, they've become a customer. The reason why you want to make sure you have a funnel in place and that you don't sell pe send people directly to Amazon, but you send them into your funnel is because when somebody purchases from you on Amazon.com, Amazon does not give you that person's contact information. Amazon doesn't give you their email address. Amazon doesn't give you their phone number. Amazon doesn't give you their social media handle. Nothing, sis. Nothing. So what this means is that if you sell... 1,000 units of a sewing machine, right? Next month, you come out with a better sewing kit and you want to offer it as an upgrade to the people who purchased the first one. You can't because Amazon never gave you their contact information and Amazon will never give you their contact information. So that's why you want to make sure you have a sales funnel in place because what a sales funnel does is it collects that lead's email address first before sending them to your Amazon page. So if they purchase from your Amazon page, you don't really care if Amazon doesn't give you the, their contact info because you already got it. But you'll only get it if you send them through your lead magnet first. So the sales funnel is the automated process that converts a lead into a buyer. And the way that it does it is that a sales funnel is a free gift that you give somebody. That's called a lead magnet. So if I am selling a sewing kit on Amazon, then something that I can give to you for free is a 10 step checklist on how to learn how to sew. Or I can give you a video tutorial that shows you how to sew, right? Anything that's a digital product. And so what I do is I set up a web page and I say, hey, if you're interested in learning how to sew, grab my free 10 step checklist and video tutorial that'll teach you how to start sewing. So then they put in an email address and they go to the next page and guess what the next page is? It's your Amazon product listing. So I just gave you free information learning how to sew. Now the next step for you is to get your sewing kit so you can start implementing the information. So you can see how those two steps work directly together. That's what's called a sales funnel. But you don't want to send people directly to your Amazon product page because you're not going to have their contact info. Because if they've gone through your sales funnel, now when you have an even better sewing kit to offer them or a companion kit, you can email your list directly and say, hey, I noticed you were interested in my sewing kit. I got an even more amazing one that has flannel and plaid and it comes with these updated scissors. Click here to get your copy for a 10% discount or something like that. And now those people have already purchased from you, so the likelihood of them purchasing again is much higher. Hey, love, love walk. Thank you so much for those hearts. Hey, Toba girl, thank you so much for joining. Hey, the queen done, thank you so much. Roxy, hello, my darling. Miracle, she said, hi, I can't wait to get my book. I'm 15 years old and wanted to strive in my assignment. Amen, sis, congratulations. Miracle is she won um, my giveaway, actually, of this book, right above my hair, the 30, Le 30 Day Legendary Success Planner. Thank you so much for entering the giveaway, sis. I really appreciate that, my love. I really, really appreciate it. Hey, Tubble Girl. Hey, Jazzy Hendrix. All right. So we're on step 
Number five now. So step number one, if you're going to start selling a product on Amazon, step number one, what niche does God want you to be in? Step number two, find your product to sell within that niche. Step number three, set up your Amazon seller account on, Amazon, on sellercentral.amazon.com. Step number four, create your sales funnel. Create your sales funnel <laughs> to be able to collect email addresses before somebody purchases from your Amazon page. Hey, C. Young. And finally, step number five is to promote your freebie. Promote your freebie. Now, one of the most, I, in the School of Business, I do coaching calls with my girls. Hey, Sirius. And one of the things that most of my girls say is, oh, Stephanie, I don't like to sell. I completely get it. I don't like to sell either. <laughs> hey, C. Young, thank you so much for joining. I don't like to sell either, and I completely understand that. Because when you think of sales, you think of those like nasty car salesmen who like go up to you on the lot and try to swindle you out of your money. That's not what we want to be as faith-based entrepreneurs. We don't want to be those people. So I completely understand. So here's the thing. If you're getting on social media, C. Young said absolutely, right? If you're getting on social media, and you're DMing people and saying, buy my Amazon.com products, buy my Amazon.com products, buy my Amazon.com products. What are people going to do? Block. <laughs> That's what they're going to do. They're going to block you <laughs> because they don't want to be sold to on social media. Social media is kind of like a party. People come on social media to lurk. That's what we come on here to do. We come to look and see what our friends are up to, what our old coworkers are up to, whether we're rooting for them or we hating on them. That's what we're on social media to do. We're on here to lurk, not to buy. So it's very, very salesy and very, very difficult to come on here and say, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. That's why you create your sales funnel because you're giving away something free, something valuable that genuinely helps people. You're giving that away for free. And then if they want to take the next step on the next page and purchase your product, that's up to them. Yes, you optimize your sales page for sales, of course, and you optimize for conversions, of course, because as purposepreneurs, we're supposed to make money in our business. Otherwise, we would be missionaries. Yes, that is a fact. <laughs> so yes, we need to make money to be able to continue to eat and pay our bills. But when you do it, when you are selling or serving through a sales funnel, it's much more authentic and organic because you're leading out with value. I am giving you something for free. And then on the next page, you get to decide if you make the sale or not. Hey, Ann Copeland. And that is one of the things that will really make you stand out from other Amazon sellers. You serve first. If you decide to list a product on Amazon.com that helps people learn how to uh, polish their shoes, if, and you're selling some sort of shoe polisher, then if I give you a free tutorial that shows you amazing, amazing methods for using a shoe polish to actually shine your shoes, and then on the very next page I'm offering you the shoe polish, that's a very organic ask for a sale, as opposed to me bombarding your inbox and saying, buy my shoe polish, buy my shoe polish, buy my shoe polish. It's like, bruh, I don't even know you. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, Anne, thank you so much for joining. Hey, I am Sonovia. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're talking about how to start selling a product on Amazon. So you want to always lead with the free. Lead with the free, and that's what makes it such a genuine, genuine ask for the sale. Roxy said that is an amazing idea. Praise Jesus. I didn't come up with it. Um, so I learned about sales funnels through Russell Brunson, through Jeff Walker, through Justin Atlin, through Ryan Dice, <laughs> through Brian Moran. That was the first person I learned about sales funnels from. Um, so I've been learning about sales funnels since I think 2013 was when I first, first learned, heard about the concept and it took me a couple years to master it. But yes, yeah, sales funnels is what I do here at God Would Grow, and that's what I teach in the God Would Grow School of Business. And you can create your own sales funnels to lead to your Amazon products, which will help you stand out from everybody else. It'll help you serve first and ask for the sale second, and it'll help you build your email list so that you can keep in touch with the people who are purchasing from you. So thank you so much. Hey, Shakara. Oh, Shakara, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on today's Purposepreneur episode where we talked about how to start selling a product on Amazon.com. If you know, or you just have this feeling that God has purposed you to be an entrepreneur, you got it in your gut. You kind of know, I think God wants me to launch a business, but I'm not sure where to start. Thank you so much for those hearts. Then make sure you grab a free copy of my book, The Five P's of Purpose Entrepreneurship to Launch an Online Business. So in this book, 
I go through the five main fundamental steps of launching a purpose-driven business online in a way that serves Christ and brings you the lifestyle that you want as an entrepreneur at the exact same time. So the reason why I'm smiling is because I love seeing these natural hair girls in these books. Listen, when I was learning this stuff, there was nobody with natural hair teaching it. <laughs> it was all basically like... I'm not going to say racist, but people who didn't look like me. I'm actually the opposite of me. So it's really cool. Thank you so much, Brittany, to be able to say, like, this is a really cool book that teaches you about the five fundamentals of launching a purpose-driven business. That looks like us, praise Jesus. And you can get it for free by going to purposelegend.com slash business. That's purposelegend.com slash business. And if you're in a spot where you're like, listen, I've learned. Hey, it's Angelica. If you're like, I've learned... I've been studying, I've been researching, I know for sure God wants me to be an entrepreneur and I want the step-by-step -step roadmap to do it, then come join me in the God Would Grow School of Business. That's where I teach you step-by-step -step how to launch your own purpose-driven sales funnel and create a business model like what I have here at God Would Grow. So you are serving first, sis and selling second and doing it the way that God purposed you to do it. You can come and join me by going to purposelegend.com slash school of business. And finally, if you hear me talking about Jesus, you hear me talking about faith-based business, you hear me talking about, oh, you have to lead with this fruit because you're, you're, you're representing the word of Christ, but you're not quite sure what that means. You're like, what does that mean to be a Christian? John 3.16 says it best, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. What that means is that becoming a Christian is as simple as trusting Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. And if you want to make that decision today, repeat after me. Dear Jesus, I know that you died for my sins. I believe that you rose again. And right now, I trust you as my personal Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Sis, if you just pray that prayer with me, welcome to the kingdom of Christ. Angels are literally celebrating right now. They are super excited. Your name has been written in the book of life. You are a Christian, sis. Get into a Bible-based church so that you can really learn about who God is and start reading the Word of God. I really recommend starting with the book of John because it's literally God's love letter to us and it helps you to understand how much Jesus loves you, how much he adores you, how much he cares for you and is always with you and wants the best for you. And you can read it for free by using the Bible app. It's called YouVersion. You can get it for free on any Android or iOS phone. So thank you girls so much. T Show said are the classes online. Um yes, yeah, so the Gotta Go School of Business is an on-demand online membership platform. So I give you the login access and you log in whenever you want to. You watch any of the modules and the videos whenever you want. There are downloadable worksheets. I do master classes. I do coaching calls. There's a lot of stuff that comes with the School of Business, but it's an on-demand online membership platform. So you log in and you watch the videos one by one. SS Ruth, thank you so much. And you can find out all that information because there's a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> By going to purposelegend.com slash school of business. So sisters of Christ, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you complete and total purpose over your body, mind, and soul in the name of Jesus. And give you peace, mercy, and favor forever and ever. Amen. Thank you girls so much for joining me. Thank you so much for those hearts. God bless you. In Jesus' name, I will be back tomorrow for another Purposepreneur episode. Love you guys. Thank you so much for joining. In Jesus' name, I'll see you tomorrow.